Hello, good evening. You there, Osbin? Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How's everything? How was your day? Uh, yep. Yes, um, all is okay. Everything okay? I mean, that's good to hear. That is really good to hear. Right, like that everything okay. is running okay. So yes, um, I'm... I am um a little tired because I today was a a hard day in my job. Ah, oh, really? Oh yes, my God! I have yeah. a lot of huh? Yeah, yes, I have a lot of uh, activities in in my job. I am. We have a visit mm -hmm. from Korea. Oh, really? Yes. In the factory is is a uh, is original of, of Korea. Uh -huh. So I guess when you have those kind of visits, everything is like super full of work. Yes, yes. Every every body are so busy. Oh my god! I can tell so. Yeah, you had a lot of things to do then, right? Yeah. All right, so, but at least you're going to have a kind of rest. Uh, just, we are just like, what, four classes, uh, four more classes, and we're basically out of the module. So you're going to have a couple of days of resting, right? The, the Monday is the last day. Yeah, on Monday, if everything works uh, fine and we don't have any kind of issue these coming days, yeah, on Monday, we're going to finish with everything. We're going to finish with uh, uh, the last class. And uh, we also are, are going to do the, the satisfaction survey, right? That, that is like uh, the last thing that we generally do at the end of every module. So we're going to end up with that. Yeah, luckily we're gonna finish this coming Monday, so it's going to be good. Okay. Yeah, and we're gonna have a couple of days, you know, like just to sleep okay. earlier than normal. No, but, but uh, my schedule is is I get up at uh, four o'clock in the morning, and mm -hmm. yes, in my home I stay at. Seven p.m. or uh, sometimes eight p.m. Jesus Christ! So you get home late. So you spend yes. the whole day at your work. Yes, I li I live in Lourdes, Colón. In my job is uh, is on is on Olocuelta. Ah, ajá, ajá. Ah, but yes, it's, a little, it's a little all, bit far. Yes, all day. Uh, I cross a, a terrible traffic in the morning. Yeah, I mean, I was about to say that. I mean, the most horrible about your trip to your work and coming back is the traffic, right? Oh yes, it's, it's, it's very stressful. The traffic yeah. in the entrance of El Salvador, oh my God, is a nightmare. I really got yeah. stressed when I go to San Salvador because mm -hmm. in here, in Oriente, we don't see those, those kind of traffics. Like in there, oh, there is horrible. Yes, I imagine. Yes, my God, another another street that is like is with a horrible traffic jam is like the street that goes to Santa Ana, right by Los Chorros. Yes, uh, yes, that, that traffic is uh, is that I live in Lourdes Colón and pass by. Los chorros, too. Really? <laughs> oh, my God. So you spend a lot of time uh, in, in traffic. 
Adam. Jesus. All right. But anyways, right? It's part of our daily life. And yeah, we had to get accustomed to those situations. Yes. Yeah, I mean, um, all right. Okay, anyways, guys, let's start with a uh, uh, class. All right. So I'll go ahead and pass the attendance list just to start, guys. Uh, Carmen Eugenia. Is he here? Oh, yeah, she's there. Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, good. Daniel Arquimides. Present. Oh, okay, good. Give me a second. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, great. Uh, let me see. Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, Edwin Vladimir. Okay, so Edwin is not here. Estela Mabel. Good evening, present. Good evening, Miss. All right. Fatima Adriana. She hasn't been connected the past days. Fatima Lourdes. Not even Fatima Lourdes. Uh, Jaime Antonio. Present. Okay, great. Carla Lisset. All right, so Carla's work. Kenya Sicilia. Mm -hmm. All right, so she's not here yet. Lorena Beatriz. Okay, so Lorena's not here yet. Manuel Antonio. Okay, Manuel is working. Present teacher. Okay, Mr. Maria Gabriela. She's not here yet. Mary Raquel. Okay, Mary Raquel. A long time without getting connected. Noemi Betsabe. No, okay, not here. Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, great. And you're here. All right, guys. So uh, let's uh, start with uh, a short review about what we were doing yesterday, what we were discussing about, what was the main topic, and, and all those kind of stuff, right? Uh, guys, what was the topic that we were discussing last class? Do you remember what we were doing? What we were mentioning and everything. What was the topic from last class? Let's start with a short feedback with that. We talk about the use of the adverb and adjectives. Ah, okay, great. Very good. So we were talking about adverbs. Very nice. Uh, do you guys remember what is an adverb? In what situations can I use an adverb? What is an adverb, guys? It's a word that describes a verb. Okay, great. Thank you, Daisy. It's a word oh. that describes a verb, right? Basically, with an adverb, what we do is to what? Is to describe an action, how an action happens. And remember, we have different kinds of adverbs. Like the most uh, common ones are adverbs of manner or adverbios de manera. What is the function of this kind of adverbs? They basically tells you in what way you do an activity or an action. In this case, we have adverbs of frequency. Do you remember the, 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 the adverbs of frequency in which you can set up always, generally, sometimes, usually, never? right? Those ones are called adverbs of frequency. And they tell you 
how frequently you do an activity or in this case an action right yesterday we were also talking about the uh, fact that we can make an adjective become into an adverb right so for example we got the word easy this is just a, a review guys remember so we just got the word easy guys what is easy an adjective or an adverb easy check this out if i say the english class is easy what am i doing in this case what am i describing Huh? Is an adjective? Ah, okay, great. Thank you, Jaime. Yeah, I mean, it's an adjective. Why is it an adjective? It's an adjective because in this case, the word easy is describing what? The English class, right? So in the English class, remember, that is what? It's a noun, right? That's a noun. So basically, an adjective, the function of an adjective is to describe the noun. Remember that. In this case, the noun is the English class. Good. But what happened with this verb? I mean, with this adjective? We can change it and add ly at the end. And now it's not an adjective anymore. It's an adverb. And in this case, what is the function of an adverb? Ah, describes an action, right? So in this case, in this case, I can say, my students speak English, what? Easily. And now in this case, the word easily is not, listen up, is not describing you guys. It's not describing my student. It's describing what? It's describing the action. And what is the action? Speak English, right? So, and what is it speak? Ah, speak is a, is a verb, right? So in this case, the word easily is describing the verb. And the word easy is describing the noun, the English class, right? So, that is the difference that we can find between these two structures. Remember that, all right? That an adjective describes a noun while an adverb describes the verb, right? Good. I guess this topic was like super easy to you guys, right? Uh, something that we got in here and we don't need that much to, you know, like to focus on. Related to that, guys, give me a second. I need to see if this, this works now because yesterday it was not working. I need to share you something, guys. It's an activity related to this uh, adverbs. Okay. Yes, it is working now. Good. Uh, I do really want to see and check on you guys who uh, are uh, in the class and who are as listeners. Okay, in this case, Stella. Stella, you're not working, right? You can participate. Yes, teacher. Nice. Thank you, Stella. Thank you. All right. Daisy can participate. Daniel as well. Jaime as well. Oswin, you're free, right? You can participate now. Yes. Perfect. Christian, can you participate? Yes. Nice, nice. So Carla's working, Manuel is working. Edwin Vladimir, uh, are you gonna be as a listener or you can participate? And I will be as a listener, teacher. Okay, all right, no problem. Uh, same as you, Gabby. Are you gonna be as a listener?
Gabby, you there? All right, I guess she's working or doing something else. I don't know. All right. Uh, okay, guys. Now, what are we going to do? Listen, I got an activity for you in a word. Uh, let me see. Give me a second. I got a PDS, actually. Give me one second. I want to share this to you. Right, just for you. I'm gonna make it a PDF a statement. Give me a second, guys. Because if I turn into a word, probably you will have issues. PDF. Okay, since yesterday we were discussing about adverbs and all the functions that we has, right? I am going to send something. Give me one second. Oh my God, I don't have the WhatsApp group open. Give me a second, guys. I will, I will send a PDF on the WhatsApp group. I want you to download it, all right? And that is going to be a short activity that we are going to be doing in pairs. But give me one second, I'm loading with that. I need this to load there in order to do that. One second. I don't know why is it taking so long. Give me a second, guys. It is working now. Is it working? Okay. Hey, when this takes more than the required time. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so I will upload this PDF. Okay, what I want you to do is to download that. All right, I want you to download that PDF, guys. I'm gonna send you to work in pairs. And what I basically want you to do for me in that activity is to select and write down the appropriate adverb that best complete the sentences that you got in there. There are 12 sentences in there, guys, in which, you are going to select the best adverb that complete the sentences, okay? When we come back in here, we're gonna check what you got, but I need you to, uh, I need to send you to work in pairs. Give me one second. Lorena, you, I guess you're as a listener and you won't participate in activities, right? All right, so I guess just as a listener because she didn't answer. Jesus Christ, I got a lot of people as a listeners. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, but anyways. Mm, second noise. Kenya? Can you participate in the activities? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Great, and I'm gonna send these three people because I don't have any other one. And the other ones are going to be joining us now. Okay, 
Let's open up the breakout rooms, guys. I will give you a couple of minutes for you to download the activity, complete it, and then we're gonna come back in here, okay? Just complete with the appropriate adverb, okay? The sentences. Let's go, guys. Let's accept to join to the breakout rooms, please. One, two. Guys, accept to enter, please. Estela, accept, please, the invitation to enter to the breakout room. In the first, in the first one, do you speak English activity? Write down the correct adverb in the corresponding space, okay? Uh, so in the first one sentence, say you speak English. What is the correct adverb according to you? Mm. I think fluently. Uh, I agree. You speak English fluently, I think, but are you agree, Christian? Uh, um, or Manuel, or yeah, it's fluently, fluent, fluent, fluently. Okay, in the second one, say, I sleep last night, I sleep cold, well. I slept last night. I slept um late, maybe. Yeah, I slept late last night. Yeah, okay. And the first one say the children did really in the test really the children did really really quite quietly cold oh, see quietly yeah. I am and number number two. I sleep. We sleep. Late, late, late. I don't know. I sleep. Late. I think. I think. Um, Yes, can be. I sleep late last night. Okay. 
Number three, the children you really in the test. Well, can be. Well. Yes. The I don't know. I I I. Um, I softly. think he's softly. 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 Right? Or subtly. Yeah. Yes, softly. Okay. Softly. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Is it there? Okay, take take the screenshot and before we will continue. Mm -hmm. Wait, I think I pitch. Okay, the next one is try to do it so we don't have to read it. Mm -hmm. I, I can't on I can't yeah, see yeah, the other um <clears throat> try to do it so we don't have Hi teacher, I don't know who who do you say incansablemente? <laughs> uh, where? Try to do it. Uh-huh. So we don't have to redo it. What are like the options that you have? Um Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think about this. But the ad the adverbs are below that. Más abajo tienen los uh, adverbios que puede usar. Oh, I don't. Creo que estábamos tanto ahí. Están abajo. Están abajo. Yes. Okay. Uh, there okay. you have the answer, the, the albers. <laughs> okay. Just... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jaime. Uh -huh. uh, we make an A number. Not, it is not aggressively. I think is suddenly. A car suddenly came ar around the corner and nearly hit us. Suddenly is like um. De repente. De repente, huh? Okay. So. so. Okay, I hate getting up. In the A is is destroy. That's that's right. Uh huh. In the end of the night, I try to do it. So we don't. Hello, girls. How are you going? 
Did you finish uh, selecting the apples? No, no oh, yeah. Give us a, a moment, please, because we are so confused in, in some. All right, but but do you understand? Do you understand all the adverbs that you have below uh, the sentences? Uh, we are going to try, it. <laughs> but uh, we are confused in, a, in in one in the number six in this moment. In number six. I think it's uh, try to do it well, so we yeah. don't have. And we, I we think have it's the number, the number three. <laughs> and the children did really. The children did really. Mm -hmm. Maybe it can be badly. I don't in know. The the is really badly in their test. Can be badly. Badly. I think. Hola. I Keep think. So. Name the game. I don't know. Um, mm. maybe uh, a car uh, suddenly came from the corner and nearly hit us. The number seven. Suddenly. Suddenly. Aggressively. Um, I don't know what is it redo it redo it do it again do, you know? do it again uh what is a uh, and the number six uh try Try to do it, and so we don't have to redo it. Redo it is do it again. Do it again. Rehacer o volverlo a hacer. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Redo it. Ah, uh, carefully, maybe carefully, Jaime. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, the seventh one. No, a car to Yes, I me carefully. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, podrían in Spanish uh inténtalo hacer cuidadosamente para que no tengamos que rehacerlo. Oh, uh, try to do it well, <laughs> so yes. we don't have to redo it. Okay, well. Okay, okay. well. Well. Well, so we don't have to redo it. We do it. Okay. And also, we need to change this. This word, okay. Uh, the children did really. So 
Ma... Eh, teacher, what is Sutil? Sutil. Sutil. Repentinamente. Repentinamente. Okay. Um, quietly, generally. What? Strength, esta, in this world. Oops. Strength. Straight. Derecho. Recto. No. In the, in the number eight is a straight. <laughs> eight. Yes, go straight down this road. Then okay. turn left. Straight. Down this road, okay. And that ends is badly. Yeah. Yes. Badly. Okay, my mother write very fast and Aggressive. <laughs> yes, aggressive or quickly. Maybe it can be, in this case, it's maybe badly, badly. Okay. I don't know. In the number. Mm, ah, and the number three can be quietly. The children did really quietly in their test. Mm -hmm. For number four, he worked. He worked hard. Yes, hard. And number five, the nose pick up the baby carefully, carefully. carefully. Mm -hmm. Number six, try to do it. Mm. Mm. Well, well, <laughs> well, well. Number well. seven, a car suddenly, and this car mm -hmm. is suddenly. Um, number eight, go, go straight, straight, go straight, yes, a straight, a straight. I don't know how to say. Um, and what oh, nine, mm -hmm. number nine, I had getting up late, and this guy can be late. My brothers, number 10. My brother drives very fast and aggressively, I think. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Try to Here, do your try to do your homework. Elegant. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. I don't know. We have to choose uh, one other or adjective for each sentence. Yes. And they have to to do to do different. How come? For example, we can repeat, can we repeat um additive or uh, another in two sentences, three sentences, for example? 
No, they are exactly 12 sentences, okay. exactly 12 uh, adverbs. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. In this case, elegantly. Okay. It's a number 12. Uh, uh, I, 12 is elegantly. I am Lindsay. thinking for I number think. three. I thinking for number three, the children did really quietly. Yes. Mm. Hi. But Hentley is missing. <laughs> I'm. Uh, Hentley is missing. Oh, it can be the number five. The nurse pick up the baby Hentley. Hentley? Mm. No. Um, mm. I, no, really. Maybe. Maybe he, uh, and carefully it can be, kids try to do homework carefully, please, or quietly, or maybe in, in 11 is quietly. Maybe, uh, no, no, for number three and number 11 can be. The children did really handle in their death. I don't know. And for 11, the kids try to do your homework quietly, please. Mm -hmm. I think, but I don't know. In the number 11 is quietly. I think so, too. I think. Yeah. I think it's, it's more according. And then number three, maybe Henry, but I, I'm not sure. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, for the number point. three, I'm not sure. No, in, in the number three? Henry. Oh. It is really Henry in the test. Elwin okay. says, change the maybe, number maybe. five for gently. Yes. Number five. I I don't know. Number five is, is not carefully. Carefully. I it's carefully. Is, huh? I think it's not carefully. I don't know. Mm, I think yes because you 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 have to <laughs> be carefully with. Handling with the, pick up, uh, the number baby. five. Number five, mm. Henry. I think, but mm. I don't know. Can be carefully, can be handy, but if we need carefully be for ca for and number eleven, for number six, I think we can just try to do it carefully, so we don't have to read it. Read while it. So you finish? Ah, you can finish? Be? No. <laughs> Let's go and check to the main okay. session what you got, girls, because it's late. <laughs> and I need to finish this with you, okay? Let's go. And you want to tell me there, all right? Okay. See you there in the main session. So guys, I guess everybody has already finished, right? It was like a little bit confusing in some uh, sentences, like what to, what uh, Albert to choose, but I think you did it correctly. So we're gonna check what you have, guys. Okay, give me a second. This is later. 
So you got this series of adverbs in here, right? That you were using in here. So I'm gonna start setting up setting up what you what you guys get in here. So in this case, um, Jaime, what do you have in number one? one um, you speak English fluently okay does everybody got the word fluently in the first one yes yes okay there you go nice Daisy read number two Daisy I slept late last night. Okay, uh, do you guys agree with her? Yes. Yes. I slept late last night. What are the options that we have? Badly. I slept badly last night. Badly? Badly, yes. Okay, who agrees with that? Uh, um, Noemi? Ah, Edwin says badly as well. Okay, who else is as badly? Nobody says badly as well? Okay, yeah, in this case, we're gonna take it as badly, all right? Where is it? Give me a second. Ah, it's in here. All right, the second one, it should be badly. Okay, Daniel, read number three. Number three. The children did really quietly in their test. Let me see. The children did really quietly. quietly. That's what you got? Yes. Quietly? Yes. For me. Okay, uh, who supports um, Archimedes in this one? Who agrees with Archimedes that in number three, the children uh, did really in, the te in their test, he says, teacher, I'm so confused, but I'm not if I write, but I think it's carefully. Carefully? <laughs> but I don't know. Really well. Actually, in this case, it's really well, because it's uh, the result of the, of the test, okay? So in this case, it's really well, okay? okay. It's like children, the children did really well in their test. Ah, uh, los niños lo hicieron muy bien en su test, right? So number three is well. Number four, let me see. Hi, uh, Jaime. Um, we work, he works hard and go, got a promotion. He worked hard, hard and got a promotion. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. That's the one that we get here. Number four, hard. All right. To get a promotion. Very good. Very good. 
So that's like the way that we use in here. Good. Uh, Osbin. The next one, Osbin. Number five. The nurse. Pick up the baby. Mm -hmm. Carefully. You got carefully. Who supports Osbin? That in uh, number uh, five is carefully. I agree. Yes. Okay. Who else agree? You must stay aware, guys. Let's be in the scissors. For me, it's gently. Gently. Mm hmm. Ah. Me too. Ah? For me, it's Hendley. In this case, guys, is gently. Yes, because you're talking about a baby, right? So you can keep it gently, gentilmente, right? So in number five, it's going to be gently. All right, but anyways, thank you. Thank you, uh, mister. Now, uh, let me see who else. Noemi, read the next one. The number... Uh, number six. Six. Um, in this case, I have well, but um, <laughs> try to do it. Um, carefully. Continue. Try to do it carefully. So we don't have to redo it. Maybe. That's the way. Yes. Six. Carefully. Why carefully? Because the next time it, it can be like ah all of it again, right? So in that case is carefully. Great. Number seven. Let me see who else was the participation. Jesus, most of you got us a listeners. Let me see, Christian. Um, a car suddenly came around the corner and nearly hit us. Okay, very good. Yes. Suddenly. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mr. Now. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Number eight. Yes. Uh, go go straight down this road, then turn left. Excellent. Go straight. Straight is the one, right? Very good. Thank you, Edwin. Now, number nine. Guys, any volunteer with number nine? Involuntario. I hate getting up late. Exactly. I hate getting up late. Okay, very good, guys. You were going good. Now, Estela. Read number 10, Estela. Uh, number... Ten. Ten. My, yeah. bro my brother drives very fast and aggressively. Exactly, aggressively. Okay, very good. What about the other one? Number 11, Daisy. Daisy? Ok, 
Can you hear me, AC? Um, I don't know, teacher, because uh -huh. in this case, I I have uh, care, 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 I was You got carefully there. It says, kids try to do your homework. And it says, please. What about this one? You know what is quietly, Daisy? Yes, quietly. Read it, please. Okay. Kids try, uh, kids try mm -hmm. to do your homework. Uh, I don't know. Quietly. I must say, quietly. <laughs> you said that, right? Please. Quietly. <laughs> quietly. Sorry. Okay, lazy. All right, no problem. That's okay. Good. And the last one, Elgwin. Me, teacher? Yes. Okay. She dresses very elegant, elegantly, doesn't she? Okay, very good. So in that case, elegantly, right? Very good. So this is like the way how we get these activities using adverbs of frequency, okay? Very good, guys. You did a good job. Now, I want we to go straight to the manual. Let's open up your manuals, guys. I want you to open up your manuals on page. Give me a second. Got it stopped. See if that was the cause. Okay, I want you to go on page, guys, 33. Page 33. on your manuals. Okay, what can you find on that page over there, guys? All right, it says, listen. Does your company handle items with expiration dates? What happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market? Listen, guys, what are we going to do in this case? We're going to go over that part over there. And we will do something. I will give a series of, of listen up, a series of um, short times for you guys. Listen, I will send you to work in pairs with these questions. But listen. Everything is going to be timed. Todo va a ser con tiempo. I'm going to give you, les voy a dar cuatro minutos. Listen up. I'm going to give you four minutes para que ustedes me discutan estas dos preguntas que tienen ahí al principio. Right? Those questions. I will give you four minutes for you to discuss those questions, guys. Once discussed, and I don't know why I haven't projected them. I'm talking about this, guys. Right, I'm talking about this one, okay? Sorry, I thought I, I was I was uh, projecting that later. Okay, so it says, does your company handle items with expiration dates? And then the second one, it says, what happens to products that, that go out of seasons uh, or become irrelevant in the market? Okay, I will give you four minutes for you to discuss these questions briefly. After the discussion of those questions, guys, we're going to go over this short conversation that I've got here. 
This conversation means between two people, Sara and Ramon. What are we gonna do? We're gonna read the conversation. We're gonna practice the conversation as we have been discussing, you know, like and practicing back in the past, the conversations. And then we're gonna come in here and uh, produce it, okay? So let's read the conversation so you can go once, right? And we don't have to be like, you know, getting in and getting out from the breakout rooms. So this is a conversation, as I said, between Sara and Ramon. Sara is asking uh, Ramon some tips on the basis of inventory control, okay? So Sara says, how does inventory management work, Ramon? It says, Ramon, you need to have enough products in your inventory. Listen up. You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell your customers, all right? To sell to your customers when they want it. When they want it. But you don't want to have, listen up, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory. Too much in your inventory. Or you will be, listen up, or you will be paying a lot of money, paying a lot of money to have it stored. To have it stored. Sarah says, Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the L phone X. L phone X. Ramon says, don't do it. Don't do it. Now that the L phone X is on stores, Listen guys, now that the Elphone X is on stores, you will not sell much. You will not sell much. That's one of the problems. That's one of the problems, right? With inventory management with inventory management when you have too much when you have too much inventory listen up because you thought not because you thought you could sell more than you did and there is a change in the market, you will might end up paying, right? Paying for products you can't. For products you can't. Good. Any question with any word from the conversation, guys? A word that might be acknowledged for you? No. Okay, good. Everything is okay now. Then, Perfect, guys. Remember, I will give you four minutes to practice these questions. Then I will give you some time to practice the conversation. And at the end, guys, y como última parte, agregado a esta página, me van a discutir estas preguntas. Discuss the answers to the questions below. Why is it important to have a, a, enough products in your inventory? All right. Uh, is it a good idea to have an excess of inventory? And the last one, what happens if you have too much inventory and market trends suddenly change? So in this case, I want you to 
discuss these questions before you come in to the main section, okay? So you got three activities now. Discuss the questions, create the conversation, and ask. All right, and practice these three questions that appear here. Good, that's all we're going to do, guys, for this moment. So I'm gonna assign the breakout rooms again. And then they're gonna make them the same. Give me a second. Let me see. Second. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ, all of these are so listeners. Okay, good. Let's enter to the breakout rooms, guys. Let's go. You see, but in the please, I'm going to include you here. Guys, are you there? Yes, but Osbin is talking, I think, with someone. Ah, he's talking to someone? Ah, okay, okay. Yes. So yes. we're going to wait for him for a while. Then I'll, I'll come back again just to check if he's back, okay? Okay, okay. Nice. First. 33. Hey, can you hear ah. me a bit, please? 33. The battery. Okay. Coming but is that there. kind of, of inventory it don't don't have expiration date? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the product we we use is is um, like um paper um Marker, market, marker, pencils. That that's it. And um, this product don't have a uh, expiration date. <laughs> Humano. It's important to have enough. Um, I think so. It's uh, in my case is I I was working as a consultant and independent, and I sometimes uh, um, I I work I work in advice for different company, but sometimes I I I have. I had a training and my inventory is necessary. Same to you is paper, pens, um, notebook, and and my inventory and my and my, and my company. As as a well. Okay. But it's necessary to 
uh, in my case is uh, I, I have um, the, the laptop is in good condition and I don't know, how do you say, como se dice el cañón, el proyector en inglés, teacher? Proyector. Proyector, okay. But, but this is, in my inventory, it's necessary to have uh, a, a good condition in the laptop and projector. And in, 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 in an internet, <laughs> internet in, in a not in, in good in good condition and it's important because it's sometimes and I I was uh, sometimes I work I work in training and and and, and platform some meet or whatever other 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 platform. Okay. okay, I think that the the first question about the expiration dates is, for example, in a company that work with food, for example, because the food had expiration dates, or maybe the um, how do you say laboratories? Laboratories. Or laboratories labs. labs that that make fields of or all the medications okay. have expiration days What happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market? You mentioned that, uh, Carlita, right? Sorry, sorry. What? You mentioned something like that. Ah, uh, wait. The question. Ah, yeah. The uh -huh. actually. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, it is this, uh, right? The products that go uh -huh. out of season or go out of style. Um, what do you think? I think that maybe when this happened, uh, what they have, well, I don't know, but maybe what they do is to put it on sale, like in liquidation or something. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe they can sell them faster or people would like to buy them or something thing because nobody wants to yeah. buy something that is uh i mean it's not in this season or it's go out of season me <laughs> yes <laughs> i i buy whatever they you know for <laughs> but if, if if no no uh, is the season in in this moment for the products i i'm no, no matter no matter <laughs> if I don't have money, I I can't uh, uh, buy something <laughs> expensive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now, Daisy. Yes. <laughs> I only listen. <laughs> okay, in, in my case, uh, nothing applied this, these two questions because I, I work at Municipal hall. You mean a city hall? 
City Hall. Alcaldía. Ajá. Yes. El yes. City Hall. City Hall. Okay. I work in a university too. And then, and it's I don't know. To talk about fraud. <laughs> I don't know what says. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. The first question is, why is it important to have enough product in your inventory? Accordingly to the conversation. Yes. Uh -huh. Why is it important to have enough product in your inventory? Because you can sell to your customer when you want it. Well, when they want it. Uh -huh. uh, give me the answer again. I need to write. <laughs> uh, because, because you don't forget the answer, but in my case, I forget. <laughs> because uh, uh, because you have you have no because you need to have enough products in your inventory. Mm -hmm. To sell to your customer when they want it. Mm -hmm. when your your client yeah uh-huh uh -huh. okay and the second question is is a good idea to have an excess of inventory no because they have to start it so they going to pay in a lot of money You need to pay a lot of money to have it uh, in the store. Yeah. Yep. How many of you have to mention? Mm. After that, we repeat the same conversation. <laughs> with inventory management you have too much inventory because you drew a could sell more than you did and there is a change in the market you oh. might end up buying for products you can sell okay okay You were telling me something, Edwin? Sí, teacher, una, una pregunta. ¿Cómo se yeah. pronuncia y qué significa mi? Es, eh, donde dice my. Oh, my, en, el, en el párrafo último, en la última línea, dice you might end up or uh -huh. me. Ah, uh -huh. okay. You might end up paying for products you can't sell. Ah, podrías terminar pagando por productos que no puedes vender. Y la palabra esa, my, ¿qué es? ¿Qué significa? Solo esa palabra. Podrías, po, po, poder, pero de ah, posibilidad. Es ajá, como podría. Ok. It's like that. Podrías terminar pagando. That's correct. Something like that. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Okay. And uh, we finished the tour. Ah, uh, you have done already. Yes, yes. I work with. Everything. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Just. Yes. Mm -hmm.
So I'm gonna check. We are in. quick. Yeah, you were fast. I'm just gonna contact <laughs> this other group, and if they have already finished, we're gonna go back. Okay. 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 Nice, nice. Much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you you did, and there is a change in the market. You might end up paying for products you can't sell. Okay. Again, um, with, um, yeah. with Stella. Okay. Okay, okay now you start. Okay. How does inventory management work, Promo? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of invent investing in some new cases for the L phone X. Don't do it. Now that the L phone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Okay. Okay. Very well. Now we can, we have to discuss the answers. Okay. Why is it important to have enough products in your inventory? Mm. Maybe the part that says to sell to your customers when they want it or to sell to the customers when they want it. I mm -hmm. think. Okay. I think so. <laughs> so. What do you do you think, Daisy? Yes, yes. Okay. We finished, uh, teacher. Yes, you finished, including the questions and everything? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. So it's only one group remaining with the questions. I think in two more minutes, they are going to finish and we're going to go back to the main session. Okay. 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 Nice. Yeah. I'm going to go and push them up. Uh, how do you say demanda? Demand, demand. The demand. Uh, we can, we can uh, get. We we can have a uh, more more product, but the 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 customer want more. <laughs> I don't know because the the word excess excess is excess excess. So, oh, okay. Yes, I think then for for me no because you have more inventory that the customer wants. And in the pen, sometimes it's, it's good have to to enough to enough inventory uh, for the pro. Sometimes a yeah. lot of money to have. You finish a lot of oh, money to store the products, maybe like that. Did you finish six? 
uh, if no yet we, we have any any question for answer mm -hmm. teacher we have the third question missing oh. three questions missing no 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 the number three the ah. last question ah okay okay yeah okay I will give you two more minutes okay. to finish, okay? Because everybody has already finished. Okay, thank you. Nice, nice. What happens if you have too much inventory and market trends suddenly change? change? Mm. You might end up Paying for products you can sell. It isn't, I think, in the last sentence. Mm. You can't, you might end up paying. For products you can mm. sell. Do you have it? Yes. Okay. Daisy, do you have it? In the number one. Mm -hmm. uh, please. You want you want the to answer. to repeat the answer. Okay. The answer. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I got it. Uh, I, I get it in the in the conversation. In the the part that says Ramon, the first part that says Ramon, and it talk. says to sell uh -huh. to your customers when they want it. That part I think is the answer for the first question. The the product get to demand, but the in this in this conversation the the excess is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Did you okay. guys finish? the key point? Sorry. Did you finish? Uh, we we are in the, the last question the last of the part three. Okay. What, what happens happen if you have too much inventory? inventory and the market trends totally change? Sometimes you might you might end up paying for product that you can sell. Puedes so terminar pagando productos que no se va a vender. Yes. <clears throat> In this case, the, the answer is, is you might end up paying the but they, they are but the answer says is what happening if you have too much inventory and market trend suddenly change. And and I think so. I think is the problem is when the when the inventory inventory too much much broke and, and the market trend suddenly change is the price is slow. I think so. Yes, the price is is low, but you have a lot of inventory that you pay more for that product, and now the people don't want to pay too much like you pay at the beginning. 
then you lost money because the people don't want to pay more or enough for cover your cost. Then you lost money. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because that that happened with the with the cell phone because they pass off trend and they they are shipping the next year or in in two years or three years if you don't sell that that cell phone that cell phone can lose lose, lose Yes, lost her price or lost the value. Yeah. That have a the uh, when was the I don't know how do you say the lanzamiento. In the technology, pass a lot because, yeah, because all the, the, the time are a new technology, a new. All the time are are changing, changing, change, are change. Yes. Well, I think we finish. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Let's go back then. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Nice. See you in the main session. Okay. All right, guys, so everybody's here again. So let's start with this. I'm going to project. Ah, here it is. OK, I'm going to project this. OK, and let's just start, guys. It says, does your company handle items with expiration dates? What happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market. I'm going to start with uh, 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 Daniel, you and your classmates. What did you discuss about this question? It, give me a general a general uh, point of view, okay? Something okay. My classmate is Christian. So we are discussing about um, about this question. The first one, does your company handle it in a good expression day? In my case, uh, in my company, we have an, uh, a product with inspiration day because we make uh, clothes. Uh, the clothes sometimes is out of the system, but has an inspiration date. Mm. Uh, we can sell our product in different moments, different season, for example, but when it's out of the season, uh, the product is more cheaper. Uh, for, for sales mm -hmm. and for years mm -hmm. uh, the company don't don't lose the, the money oh, okay okay good good all right Thank the you. the other question is for oh, okay. please help me nice nice well in my case um with the first question uh, we don't have an expiration date because we work with a PVC um, boots, sandals, and something like that. Uh -huh. And in the second question, in my case, when a season ends, we continue to sell in the same in the same way. It's become irrelevant for us because if we have like um, a stock with a stock of bots of boots that um, that we don't sell it, we can reuse it to make another uh, make another product. Mm -hmm. So it is it's irrelevant for us. Okay, I understand. Okay, thank you, Christian. Very nice. Uh, okay, a general view about that, Jaime.
what did you and your classmate were discussing? Okay, in the first question, um, we talk about the 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 items with the expiration date, and in our experience, we don't work with the the product um, get the 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 expiration date because we work in with the product um like paper markers pencils mm. and pens and that that product is not is not experience <laughs> um we talk about to um we work with the computers projectors and zoom meeting and oh. we we need um we need uh how to internet mm -hmm. but this product is not experience it's not a, have an expiration okay <clears throat> okay good good now guys Go straight. It was just a couple of, 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 you know, like participations that I wanted from here because of the time. And I do really want to end up with uh, this topic today. So now I would like to go uh, uh, straight to the conversation. And uh, Ospin, who are you working with? Uh, with Naomi. And Edwin Alexander. Hmm, was Edwin, Edwin there? I am in, okay, good. Okay, great. Oswin, can you practice with uh, Noemi there, the conversation? Uh, no, no, because uh, I am in other call with uh, family. But um, about the question, I believe in for the, for iron with uh, expiration date, if if a uh, food uh, really really the, the company lost because food is is dangerous uh, when when is a when is a expiration date about, uh, about the second question what happened to product that go off season mm -hmm. if if a, if a product um, different a uh, food, uh, maybe can uh, recycle, uh, recycler, recycle, mm -hmm. recycle or create other product or, or other product. No, okay, okay, good. All right, thank you. No, I mean, did you practice the conversation? Yes, with Edwin. Okay, good. Can you help me out with the conversation with Edwin, please? Yes, I yes, can. Yes, of course. Great. Okay. Uh, I'm Sarah. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have a new product in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it started. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the ill phone X. Don't do it. Now that the L phone X is on the store, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did. And there is a change in the market. You, you might end, end up paying for a product you can sell. Okay, for a product that you can't sell. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Edwin, and thank you, Noemi. 
Very good. Now, uh, Estela, who are you working with? With Carla and Daisy. Perfect. So I want you to listen, uh, practicing with Carla, then Carla will practice with Daisy, okay? Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, how does inventory management work, Ramon? Uh, you need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the L Phone X. Don't do it. Now, the L Phone X is on stores you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Very good. Now, Carla, help me out with uh, Daisy. Okay, I start. Uh, how okay. does inventory management work for them? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a, a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking on in, of investing in some new cases for the L Phone X. Don't do it. Now that the L Phone, Phone X is on a source, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you, thought you could sell more than you did. There is something in the market and paying for products you can't sell. Okay, for products that you can't sell. Okay, great. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you, uh, Carla, I think it was. And Estela. Now, what's the other one? Huh? Practice the conversation with Daisy. Ah, no, no, no. You three, you, you finish at least. You were practicing with Carla, okay. right? Carla with Daisy, and we're gonna finish like that. Now, Manuel, who were you working with? I, I was working with Jaime. Jaime and Kenya. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I want you to practice this short conversation with Kenya, please. And then Kenya with Jaime. Okay. Okay, I start. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customer when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have in the store. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new case for the L Phone X. Don't do it. Now that the L, L Phone X is one store, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you you thought you could sell more than you did. And there is change in the market. You might and you might end up paying for pros you can sell. Excellent. There you go. Now Kenya. Let's practice with Jaime, right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, who starts? 
Uh, you should, do, 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 let me see. Kylie, start you, please. Okay. Okay. How does inventory management work, Ramon? Okay. You need to have enough product in your inventory to sell your customer when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investigating some new case for the XL phone X. Don't do it. Now the Elphone X is on a store you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with the inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you told you could sell more than you did and there is shame in the market, you might end up paying for product you can sell. Excellent. Thank you to you three guys. You did it excellent. Now, Daniel, you haven't practiced the conversation, right? All right. Uh, let's do it with Christian. Okay. Okay, I, I can be start. Ramon. Mm -hmm. I will start. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to do you need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customer when they want it, but you don't have you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the Elfon X. Don't do it. Now the Elfon X is on a store you will not sell much that's one of the problems with the inventory management when you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did and there is a change there is a chain in the market you yeah. might end up paying for products you can sell okay excellent thank you for your participation now let me see who's next in here Okay, let me see. What else is missing, guys? I need to expand this. Nice, who else is missing? Lacey has already participated. Let me see. I think that most of you are as listeners. Okay, so everybody has already participated, at least the ones that I got in here, guys. Now, Let's jump into the question, guys. And question one, Noemi, help me out reading the question, please. Yeah. Noemi? Um, yeah. why, is, why is important to have enough product in, the, in your inventory? Yeah. What happened here? I mean, you were reading, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you for reading. Now, do, 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 let me see who can give me the answer. Noemi, what did you discuss with your classmate? Uh, for the first one, mm -hmm. um, it's important because when you have enough products, you can you can have enough product for for buy for sell for sell to your customers mm -hmm. ah, okay okay there you go very good christian help me read in the second one is it a good idea to have an access of inventory uh -huh. is it a good idea Daniel, answer that question, Daniel. You were working with Christian. Okay. No, it's not a good idea because you need to pay a lot of money to have it in a storage. Storage. 
Okay, very good, exactly. Nice, thank you, Daniel. And uh, what about the last one? Carla, Estela, and uh, Daisy. Number three. Yes. What happens if you have too much inventory and market trends suddenly change? Great. Thank you for reading the question, Estela. Now, Carla, what did you discuss with them? Okay. Um, when you have too much inventory, mm. you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Mm, okay, you make sense. And we might end up with products that you can definitely not sell, right? You don't generally sell. Okay, great, guys. So that was part of what we were doing in that case. Now, this is going to be uh, one of the last part that we're going to be doing. Listen up. In this part, what all what we're going to do is like, listen. It's missing six minutes. En esos seis minutos que faltan, lo único que quiero es que me coloquen el número en estos paréntesis de acá con respecto a estos concepts que tienen acá con estas definitions. Y mañana vamos a revisar lo que vamos a hacer ahora. Ok, today I just want you to select the best concept to the definition. Ok, and tomorrow we will just check up this information. So I will send you to work the same pairs as you were, guys. I will give you the six minutes that are missing, and then we're gonna come back in here, okay? Let's go, guys. That last part from this, from, let me see. From that page, let's go. Let's join, guys. No problem. No problem. Okay, okay. and start, um, number one, stop. Stop. Um. Emergency tap in a warehouse and available for sales of distribution. Yes. For me, it's the correct uh, number one. Um, the number two, inventory tracking. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh. In number two, that is real rep with fresh stock or supplies with stock. Stock. Planes. Planes. Yes, restock. Restock. Mm. Okay. The time <clears throat> and place okay. where the retreat is. Okay. That's I don't understand. What did you understand? <laughs> the time and place where a retail transaction is completed. The time and place where a retail transaction is completed. Hmm. The, the time and place where a retail all right, transaction is completed. Uh -huh. 
I get it. You got it? You think you got it? Yes. Yes. What number do we have next? We choose number three. Point of sale. Second. Okay. Okay. I don't give expiration dates like food or even cosmetics that well if not sold in time that is spoilage, spoilage. 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 yeah okay number five okay mm -hmm. the other one store inventory track inventory tracking a software system used to keep recording inventory levels orders sales part levels what mean par levels? Par levels. Par level, what is the name? Par level. Well, you will par, but uh, the mall should be able at any time for eating when an item falls below par. Let's replace the uh, play initial. Mm. I don't know if it can be restocked or par levels, the last one. And switch. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Words are able for service. Um, sounds like the spiral level because mention the low power and replenish it. Okay, let me see. The first one is inventory tracking, I guess. The second one, it can be um, restock. Yeah, maybe restock. The third one, it can be POS. Things that the food or even cosmetic that can be be tamed. Is it spoiled? Spoilage. I think just okay. on the desktop. Desktop. Hmm. The number one stock is the Please. merchandise kept in a warehouse and a buyable. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's missing number four. Um, the time and place where a retail transact transaction. And that is number three. Yes. And that is number two. Number three. Yes. Inventory tracking, a software system used to keep recurring. Number four, okay. Uh, the number one and or, or, or the number two inventory tracking, I think is uh, the first concept, uh, software system. Yeah, a software, yes. Okay. Yes. The number three points of self. In this case, and the time. I think it's the number three is the same line. 
the time and place where a retail transaction is complete. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The time and place where a retail transaction is completed. Point of sale. Exactly. Okay. That's what it is, point of sale. Okay. Okay, I think. An item with the expiration expiration date like food uh, or oven cosmetics, even cosmetics is the number five is for flash for life. Which one? The number five. Number five. It's for for life. pronounce it? Give me a second. It's spoiler. It's spoiler. How, do you How do you pronounce the number five? Spoilish. 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 You know what is a spoilish? Mm. Uh, es como, como degradar or algo así. Deteriorar. Kind of like that. Uh huh. Cuando algo se vuelve que no se usa mucho, that's spoilish. I think. Okay. Number six, part level. The number six, the amount that should be available that at any time for an item. When an item falls below, but it is replenished. 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 You know what is replenished? It's no, it's like a reabastecer, no? Exactly. Okay, nice. Have you guys finished? Yes, I think. Okay, great. Let's go to the main section, okay? Okay. Nice. All right, guys, I guess all of you have already finished with the activity, all right? Uh, unfortunately, like right now, we are not going to have like the time to check it because it's, it's kind of late and I'm not going to have you here for a long time because I know all of you are tired now and the only thing that you're, you do really want right now is to go to rest. So we're going to check that, all right, uh, tomorrow uh, as soon as we start the class, right? Uh, but I guess you got like, you know, like all the exercise solved. So we're going to, as I said, we're going to check that tomorrow. Okay. When we come back to the class. So uh, what I'm going to do is like just to pass the attendance list. But before I going into that, I don't know, guys, if you have any question with this. Any doubt that you may have about what we were discussing today? Or oh, everything is okay? Good, before I check out with the attendance list, guys, do you, are you doing the homework? Everything okay?
Yeah. I finished, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I have I one dove. Finished. A general. Ah, okay. Interesting. When we will finish the module? On Monday. If on everything Monday. goes okay, we're going to finish on Monday. Because if you remember, okay. I skipped one day uh, in which I had to yes, we to lost. Feed, so uh, I couldn't uh, be in the class. So that's why we're going to finish on Monday, okay? Remember, guys, that besides okay. the homework, uh, you are going to have, uh, or basically you have to do the midterm, right? That is like in the unit number four from, from, from the platform. Also, in these following days, probably tomorrow or on uh, Friday, probably. Yeah, Friday, the latest. You're going to receive a link uh, to do the, you know, that satisfaction survey that we generally do at the end of the module. So the only thing I will suggest you guys to do is like, remember guys, we do the satisfaction survey the last day of the module in the class, okay? So if you receive the link, you just notify in the group, hey teacher, I received the link from the satisfaction survey and that's it, all right? It's just for me to know that you got the information, okay? Uh, in that case, I will make sure that everybody gets the information. In that way, on Monday, we don't have that kind of issue, right? That probably you don't have the information or you don't have like the link for the satisfaction survey. And in that case, everything will be fine by that day. So as soon as you get the link, probably to your email or probably to your WhatsApp um, messages, please let me know in the group that you got the link. But remember, don't do it. We're gonna do it on Monday here in the class, okay? It's just for you to get to know, okay? I know that 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 you know that we generally do that at the end of, of the class, right? All right, guys, now I'll go ahead and pass the attendance list. Carmen Eugenia. All right, she left. Cristian Alejandro. Present. Uh, is Daniel Arquímedes. Present. Good. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, great. Elwin Alexander. Present, teacher. Nice. Elwin Vladimir. Hmm, he's there, but he's busy. Okay. Uh, Estela Mabel. Present. Okay, great. Yeah, great. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Nice. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Estela, Fatima Adriana, she didn't show up. Not even Fatima Lourdes. Jaime Antonio. Present. Okay, great. Carla Lisset. Here, teacher. Okay, great. Kenya Cecilia. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, Be Lorena Beatriz. Present. Ah, she's there. Okay, great. Give me a second. Manuel Antonio. Present, teacher. Good. Maria Gabriela. I thought Gabby was there. Uh, Mary Raquel. She, she, Right, she has got connected. Uh, Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, good. And we got the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, great guys. It was a pleasure to have you here again and let's see you tomorrow, okay? In another video conference. I hope you have a wonderful night, okay? Bye-bye. Good night, okay. see you. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. All right, so basically today what we were doing is just to 
uh, talk a little bit about uh, something really important. It should be really important. And it was like the relevance of an effective inventory management, right? Uh, the students were discussing a couple of questions uh, that are basically in the manual, right? And questions like, does your company handle items with expiration dates? So we're, they were basically discussing according, you know, like to the companies that they were working or they are working on right now. And uh, some of them, they uh, basically they were saying, right? Like they, they don't have a, a expiration uh, date products. So because most of them uh, work with different kind of, you know, like uh, products or services in which an expiration date is not really required. Um, another question that they were discussing, it was like, what happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant uh, in the market? Uh, since I said, uh, basically, uh, since they don't work with uh, expiration date products, but they were giving opinions, right? Uh, what uh, it should be done with those kind of products that become irrelevant in the market, right? Besides that, they were practicing a conversation related to that, to the correct inventory management. Besides that, they were doing some extra activities related to the previous topic that we were discussing. And now the last topic that they were discussing, it was like, uh, it was a building vocabulary in which they had to set up a, a vocabulary with definitions, vocabulary like stock, inventory tracking, point of sales, uh, restock, uh, spoilage, that was another one, per levels, uh, and first in, uh, first out. Right, and by tomorrow we will continue with that, just to check what they uh, did today, but we didn't finish checking. So that's what we're going to do the following class. That's gonna be the, like the first thing, right? So that was everything for tonight, guys. Let's see you the next video conference. Bye bye.